Toys for Tots is the largest toy drive in the nation. With commodity prices rising, it's becoming harder for parents to afford toys this holiday season. Second Class Corpsman James Hutto says that Toys for Tots is helping to get toys to those who can't afford them. When you can't decide whether to put food on the table or a toy, you're going to go with the food, and this fills in the gap. Last year, over 13,000 toys were distributed. Major Dennis Waite hopes to spread even more holiday cheer this year. So we're looking at about 2,000 families. Uh, last year we did just over 4,000 children and we're hoping for 5,000 children this year. The toys are gathered in cardboard boxes throughout the community that can be found at toysfortots.org. They are then sorted by age and gender before being distributed to families in need. Toys for Tots serves children aged 0 through 12. Major Waite says that the older kids now don't want toys. They want wallets and electronics. New toys, electronics, clothing, accessories, bicycles, and even musical instruments are accepted. If your child wants something specific, like a bicycle, requests can be made via their website. Major Weight estimated that almost 5% of families will receive a bicycle this year. My favorite part is watching the families when they come to pick it up. Uh, the appreciation and just the, uh, I guess, sense of relief as they're uh, getting to have toys for their kids. In 1947, Marine Major Bill Hendricks and his wife Diane started this program. This year marks the 75th annual Toys for Tots Drive. If you want to make a child smile this holiday season, donate to Toys for Tots. My name's Francis Capper, WFT News.